Hey, what's up everybody? Blade Super here, and today I have for you another video of Black Clover Mobile. And inside this video, guys, we're gonna be going over the four known typings here that are inside the game. Now, this is also gonna go along with certain things that I feel like is gonna happen with physical and magical damages as well. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to sit tight and enjoy the video. But before we get into it, all I have to say is thank you so far for all the support that we have. Um, I actually found out when the peak time was for our videos here and as you can see from yesterday's video It kind of popped off. So uh, I do thank you guys for all that support with the views there. That was absolutely amazing We're on our road to 150 subscribers. We're at 122 each subscriber helps So if you guys have friends family whoever likes black clover heck they can not like black clover and just want to be helpful for that Hit them with the subscribe, tune in, because every last thing helps me out, and I appreciate every last one of you guys. But without further ado, let's get straight into it here. And right off the bat, guys, so we're looking at the typings of the characters. Now, a while ago, of course, we went over this, but it was like brief. We went over the typings. It was like an older, older video. I think everything that you pretty much need to know, such as that was like my first video, pretty much. And these typings are fairly interesting here because um, certain ones we kind of know due to translations, but they're not 100% accurate here. So I have a full chart here of the typings that we have, which is physical magic healer slash support, and then an unknown one here. That is provided by, this is all provided by Black Clover Mobile EN. If you want to follow their Twitter, um, this is the same Discord that I'm in as well. That's pretty dang active. We always have something new to at least try and look at here. And they posted a whole list of the uh, physical, magical healers and unknown people here. Now, I'm going to give you my take on this here. Now, one of the main things that are very interesting is the physical and magical um, types, classes here. We do have three physicals and a bunch of magical characters here. But one of the main takeaways that I want to go over is how physical and magical characters are going to change a little bit of this game. Now, it's going to be kind of weird to see that because... Um, we don't know what is weak to whom and why it's weak to what now. So I have a little bit of a theory here, guys. I'm not sure if you guys will agree with this, but um, what do you think if a physical, let's say you're fighting the, facing a physical character, right? But they have no magical, what you, no magical like stats whatsoever. I wonder if magic will end up doing more to them due to the fact that they're only physical based. It's something like, only physical based so it'll only be logical that they'd be able to neutralize physical attack correct um such as like blocking and such like that would a magical based character be able to do more damage to a physical base vice versa seeing that a uh, magic is a little bit doesn't have any physical strength let's say you're up close versus them a physical is probably going to do more to a magic and then of course magic v magic might neutralize itself physical v physical might neutralize itself you guys tell me what you think below with that but um so far we have our three physicals here which is mars asta and then of course claws here um those are our only three which is fairly interesting to see here so far but we have of course an ssr which is going to be mars of course and two r's that we know of just now now for our magical list we have a butt ton of magicals so far which is going to be at least gosh we have vanessa salim um grice here we have salik seki and then we also have Fenro with my boy i'm, I'm not gonna lie Fenro with my boy um so, uh, God, at least I almost called him Swing, Mint, Magna, Luck, and you know. Now, this is kind of interesting with how many we do have of magical types, and this is actually kind of diverse as well because we have a couple SR characters and a couple R characters. Now, I'm hoping that this isn't too broken with the magical characters, if you guys know what I'm trying to allude to, um, was my er earlier statement is if magical do extra to physical physical is going to be a little bit in some trouble here because you have more magical characters than physical and less uh options to go with for characters at least for character optimizations for teams and so i do kind of hope they um that uh with my theory earlier, I kind of hope it's correct, but I kind of hope if that is the case, that uh, magical characters aren't too, too busted, seeing there's so many of them, then you can just do so many things. But that also is a double-edged sword, because with so many magical characters, you're able to mix-match your teams a little bit more and optimize to who you want. 
to have a decent team later on. Seeing that this game is probably a 4v4 or 3v3 game based when it's either uh, going to be turn-based, most likely, it, it could come with some nice battles, some very decent battles here. We then have to look at our healers and supports here. Um, I think this is the healer class the most because it has the little cross. I have it off the book, of course. And we have um, William and we also have Mimosa. Now, this makes only sense here, of course. They, they're definitely like a healer type of class here. We only have two of them, which eh, it's it's kind of to be expected. I don't expect too many healer classes right off the bat. Um, a lot of people like the magic and physical classes, so I do expect those to have a little bit more. As for the last uh, typing here that we know of is kind of unknown. It's not a support class, but I'm giving my take here on it, and I think it's a defense class. Because if we do think about it, this is season one Noel, and at that time, she was still trying to control her powers. Remember that? But she did have a little bit of like a water barrier. So it would only make sense that she would be more of a defense type character. And I'm looking around for most of these characters and none of them are really defense typing based. If you look at it right here, except for Seki up there, like let's talk about that freaking just straight up art he did at the beginning and Asta straight up molly -whopped that man. It was just so sad, but um, he could fit in that category, but they made him a magic instead. So it's still kind of unknown what this would be. I'm I'm banking on it being the defense. I'm banking on it being the defense for this. Now, you guys tell me what you think about this. This was just gonna be a quick video. The next video that I'm gonna have out is a channel trailer, pretty much having people telling you guys who I am all the way, because I never did really start off with that. So that was kind of a little bit of a dumb part on me, but um, have a channel trailer for you guys and which is going to tell you how this channel is going to be going and where it's going to be going down the road so um without further ado you guys if you guys have any different little video ideas that you want me to cover be sure to tell me down below and um i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did slap that like button with your forehead and consider subscribing if you are new i do daily black lover let me save it with me content but um lord i'm not even going to act like i covered that up because i swear i blinked for a second but um, let's go ahead and close it out. See you guys next time. Peace.